coming up with stuff, stupid or not, is a big part of who I am. I used to skateboard when I was 14, 15. I just did not think about any other thing. It started off as an idea for a game. One day I was like, I'm gonna do it now. I ran it out on the printer at work. All the time, I'm kind of looking, you know, and suddenly while I'm doing something else, I'll be like, oh, that'd be a great spot for one. And then it's like a little bug in your head and I've got like, oh, I've got to do it, I've got to do it. The idea was that I would put them up, people would see it, work out what was supposed to happen. And the reason the hashtags on the poster was that I wanted them to like tag it and then I would find them on Instagram. But I did that for a while and nobody got it. So I had to start doing it myself. I look at skateboard magazines and there's this kind of style of photography around that, I think thinking back to the things that got me into art in the first place kind of figure drawing and being able to see you know what bodies can do bodies framed against cities and I think with a better camera you know you can basically nail it the idea is all about accessibility so being able to just connect the phone straight to the camera and then share it, that's really cool. If you're a creative person, you know, you want feedback. So the first day that I was kind of looking on Instagram and I saw someone who I'd never met had gone, found the thing, taken a photograph of it, shared it with their friends, used my hashtag. I mean, that was it. That was as satisfying as it gets. Yeah. When you think about the volume of photos that are getting taken and shared, you know, photography is getting more important. If you give a technology like that to that many people, people are going to come up with different things. People are going to find their own ways of making their own statements and the more of that, the better.